Hi, I'm Jerry Lehman. I'm the Director of Technology for Carl Zeiss Microscopy. And what I wanted to show you today was, this is our electron microscope with a, a focused ion beam and with other attachments on it. We call this a cross beam. Uh, others may call this a dual beam or a fib sem. And what the components are of this cross beam, it's an Auriga cross beam. The, the main column is the Gemini electron optics column coming down from the top. On the left side here, you'll see a focused ion beam, this column coming in from the left. And this large chamber here is where our specimens go. Uh, what we're able to do with this FibSem is to image these samples with the SEM and modify them with the, the focused ion beam. Now what we found after having this for more than 10 years is we want to modify or, or remove larger amounts of material than what a focused ion beam or a plasma ion beam can do. And so what we've added to our system on the left, on the right hand side here, a chamber that actually has a large commercial laser attachment and the same samples that we're modifying inside the chamber can be removed out to this chamber for massive amounts of material, very precisely removed those, uh, those areas and then move the sample back into the, the chamber inside the, the cross beam to finish off the polishing. The advantages of having the laser out on the side rather than embedded in this whole chamber is that since we're removing such large amounts of material, we don't have to worry at all about whether that material gets redeposited to anything inside the chamber. So just I want to point out a couple of the other components on the chamber side. We have plasma ion or plasma beam here uh, for cleaning samples. We have a, uh, an EDS detector so we can do x-ray analysis of the samples after we've uh, done our, our cross-sectioning in the FIB. So all of, this, all of these components are then nicely controlled in one location over here on, on one control panel. And you can see that we've got a cross-section on the screen over there where we have removed a very large, am large amount of material and now are using the focused ion beam. After using the laser, the focused ion beam now goes in and very precisely is opening up a region for us to do further analysis such as x-ray. If you'd like further information about the Auriga and the laser component on the, the cross beam, uh, please go to our website at Carl Zeiss Microscopy. Thank you.